Hello all performers, hope you're having a great day, and wow. July 1st, 2016, we are midway through the year, and I almost cannot believe that I'm saying that. If you're anything like me, the first half of the year has literally gone by in a blink of an eye, and time just seems to go by so fast, but I really hope that you've had an amazing first half of the year, personally and professionally. Hope you're achieving and accomplishing everything that you wanted to, that you're fulfilled in the process. And a very short and sweet video here today because I'm sure you want to get along with your 4th of July weekend, as do I, and I hope you have big plans for it. But doing what I do, of course, I always relate everything to athletics, right? So let's take two of my favorite sports. Let's take basketball and let's take football. We're midway through the year right now, so we're at halftime. Basically, we're at halftime of the year or halftime of this game. And you show me any great athlete or any great team, and I will show you someone that is better in the second half than they were in the first half. And why? Because they make adjustments. And you look at how, probably going into this year, I'm guessing you had some type of game plan for how you wanted to execute your year, let's say personally and professionally, goals and whatnot, things you wanted to achieve and accomplish. And that's great. We always need that initial game plan. But true outperformers, what they are willing and what they are able to do is they are able to make those adjustments and stay flexible enough to be able to tweak the things that need tweaking to be able to improve and enhance their individual or team performance. And that's ultimately what they do. And I think this is a fantastic time. You know, by all means, go away, have a great 4th of July weekend. But when you come back to kind of the grind and you come back to thinking about your second half of the year, your second half of the game, trust me, I'll be recording another video just like this in January. And it'll feel like another blink of an eye where we've gone from July in the next six months going to January because again time is just going to continue to go by so fast and you can miss it if you don't kind of stop and think about and make those tweaks when necessary so three very simple questions to ask and the best way that you can possibly do this to simplify it is take a piece of paper and chop it into three categories just literally make lines on the piece of paper and ask yourself three basic questions what am I going to stop what am I going to start and what am I going to continue? It's really very simple. A lot of times people will kind of start with the start part of it where they'll say, well, I, I know that maybe I should start exercising more. I should start doing these different kind of business activities or I know that I should be eating better. And these things that take a certain amount of time and energy, let's say, and they don't always start out with the stop part of it is you look at it and you say, you know what, where Am I using my time and energy that's not really providing either any inherent value in my life uh, or is ultimately just kind of wasting and draining my time and energy? That's the stop part of it. And to think about that, like, I'm not, I'm going to stop watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, like, because Chloe and Kim and Courtney, they just don't add any inherent value to my life. <laughs> you can tell that that's just an example. I don't actually watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians because I obviously could barely name three of them. But to think about it, and if, and if you do love Keeping Up with the Kardashians, by all means, continue to watch it if it does add inherent value to your life. But to think about it, what you want to stop, and we all have these different things where if you're willing to take the time and to really kind of step back and to look at it and to say, you know, Know what like I'm doing this thing or I'm using this time or this energy on in this specific area and it's really not giving anything back to me it's really not adding any value and it's really not uh, not filling me up and, and not kind of part of my greater purpose I think if you start with that if you start with the stop part of it and then move on to the what are some things that I know that I should be doing that I'm not doing personally and professionally and then also look at the continue category where I'm sure you're doing a lot of things that have worked tremendously well in the first half of the year that you're really happy with and you absolutely want to list those out as well 
And you think about it, this can absolutely relate to athletics as well. You know, Cleveland Cavaliers just won the NBA championship. So I guarantee at halftime, they probably looked at what do we need to stop doing? Well, maybe we need to stop turning the ball over. What do we need to start doing? We need to start guarding their three-point shooters better. What do we need to continue doing? We need to continue getting the ball to LeBron James because he's the best player on the planet. Like you can look at this in any area, athletics or just in general life. But to be able to get really crystal clear on some of these things, and it doesn't have to be a lot, believe it or not, maybe, it, and I would actually encourage you to keep it really simple. Like as far as things that you'll stop and things that you'll start, you look at how we actually form behaviors and habits as humans. I would really recommend keeping it to literally one or two things that you are going to stop and one or two things that you are going to start. And then you can list a few more as the continues because you're already doing those and they're probably already patterns of behavior but if you start listing out too many things that you're going to stop and start now all of a sudden you're you're sort of the person with 10 different new year's resolutions and by february 1st you end up not really doing anything that well so just really think about what could i stop what could i start that's really going to enhance my life personally or professionally and then give your 100% undivided attention to those things. If you just ask yourself those simple questions, stop, start, continue, I guarantee you're gonna make those adjustments, you're gonna be flexible, you are going to be someone that finishes the game stronger than you started the game, and I just know you're gonna make the most out of 2016. So I wish you a blessed and a safe and a healthy and a happy and high-performing holiday weekend. Oh, that was a lot to say, <laughs> and I really hope that you have a great one. Thanks a lot for being here, watching this video, and I will catch up with you next time.